Majesty, I didn't see you enter. I have not seen you here before. Welcome to the house of God. Majesty, I am your humble servant. What can I do for you, Majesty? Should I hear your confession? What can you do for me? Do you swear to uphold the law of God? To be noble and generous in all your deeds? To help the poor? To protect the weak, the aged and the infirm? I so swear. I have come here to do something for you. I am here today to give you such a gift. The gift of certainty. Do you swear never to dishonor the court of Camelot? to protect your fellow knights and to serve God and your country. I so swear. You shall know whether or not your God truly exists. I declare before all gathered here you are now truly a Knight of the Round Table. The priest! The priest is dead! Someone has murdered the priest! The king would have you find Merlin. The wizard has an errand for you. Be quick about you, he hates to be kept waiting. This is your first day at Camelot. I stood for you and I want to be proud of that decision. Don't come back until you have done Merlin's bidding. Be careful with Merlin, Gawain. He's not like the rest of us. He'd rip you apart with his magic as soon as look at you. He might regret it later, but that wouldn't help you. He's dangerous, so don't anger him. You still here? What's your problem? Where will I find Merlin? He's old, old as the hills, older some say. You haven't looked hard enough. Tell me more about the sorcerer. Time enough to learn about Merlin. There's plenty that know more about him than they'd like to know. Why did you nominate me to become a Knight Lancelot? Because I saw in you a nobility, an honesty to which we all aspire. What does Merlin want of me? I don't know. Arthur didn't tell me. Why don't you find Merlin and ask him? What happened to the priest? Who do you think killed him? I don't know. Nobody knows. It looked like magic to me. I'll go and find Merlin. Good luck!
thank God, a lantern. I will need this. I fear the ways ahead are leaden with darkness. Hello, Will's here. Don't mind the stench. You'll be wanting an arse then. Or perhaps your tackle polishing. I've got a nice brace and bit here. Do you know the wizard? Ho oh, ho, you mean biblically. Are you happy working at Camelot? Happy is as happy does. Damn sight happier than that priest, if you don't mind me saying. Where can I find Merlin? Up, down, around. Not my place to say much. I've got me job. Responsibilities. Thank you for your help. Don't mention it. That's me manure bucket. On your own head, be it. implement, but with a multitude of uses. Here, that's mine! More barrels. I wonder what's in these. I wonder what fine horse was shod with this. I'd better take this for luck. Morning. Welcome to my forge. I'm the blacksmith here. You're bright and early. Most of the court are still in their beds. I suppose you're here for your armor. Well, it's not ready yet. I just haven't had a chance. You wouldn't believe how busy I've been. When will my armor be ready? Any time now. Do you know where I can find Merlin? You are new here, aren't you? The wizard's not that difficult to find. His home is old, almost as old as he is himself. How long have you been the blacksmith here? Since I lost my eye. I'm no good on the battlefield anymore. I must go. Certainly.
These stairs look strange. A bar relief. Beautiful and so rare in our land. Strange the way they always seem to follow you. I wonder if I pressed this. I can't reach. look strange. I wonder if I pressed this. if I can open it. This book looks old and well read. You are not ready for that yet, boy. You dare to venture into my private chambers? Have you come to steal from me? Answer me! I... I... Merlin, a thousand pardons. Arthur has sent me to you. You have an errand for me. For you? But you are just a boy, and a hot-headed one at that, so I hear. I bid you farewell. Farewell, knight. An inquisitive nature for such a noble knight. You have much to learn, Gawain. Merlin! Where does the world find you skulking this morning? My Lord Arthur informs me. A small task before breakfast! A small task? Your arrogance will repay you a thousandfold, sir. I bid you farewell. So soon, so going. I admire your persistence. Perhaps I can assist you with something. I bid you good day, Merlin. My Lord Arthur has sent me here. You have a task for me to complete? Yes, I have a mission for you. You must take this indictment to Morgana. You must touch her with it. It is magical. Do not give it to anyone else. Do not let anyone stop you. If Morgana knows you are coming, she will put obstacles in your way. Take care and good luck. I bid you farewell. Leave!
this torch glowing but not a flame what magic is this it will not budge no wait it's moving It is so dark in here. I can't see. I can feel a breeze in here. I wonder where it is coming from. That's better. Now I feel properly prepared. There is a small bridge across the pool. It is very precarious. The wood is wet and rotten. There is something red glinting in the water. A human skull with ruby eyes. I'll take these, purely for medicinal purposes. Dirty old cup. It's gold! sure about this dry brown stain. It's an old knife. This is very old. I can't tell what that is from here. It's a fine tankard.
Gawain, your dealings with Merlin were fruitful. You look troubled, my lord. What ails you? Do not concern yourself with the problems of a king, Gawain. Arthur, my lord, this is the indictment I collected from Merlin. What now? There is a hard road ahead, knight, riddled with pitfalls, strewn with fissures. My lord, you know Morgana well. What might her mood be? Her mood? Dark, bright, angry, flippant, mocking, earnest? Even I cannot tell. Where might I find Morgana? She is asleep, if she ever sleeps, in her chambers. I must leave you, my lord. Farewell, Gawain. You look like a man with a mission. The Lady Morgana. What do you know of her? She's a woman. Smart, clever, beautiful. The type your father probably told you to avoid. I need to see Morgana. Perhaps you know where she is. Probably powder in her nose, I shouldn't wonder. Women. I have this for Morgana. Where will I find her? Confident, are you? Ready for the onslaught, are you? Bold, knight. Then her chambers are in the gatehouse. I have demons to fight. Haven't we all? A fine helmet there, blacksmith. Can I have it? That one? It's not even finished. Good day, smith. No, good day to you, sir. Yes, yes, take it, but it's not finished. This will have to do. Now, sir, a, a message for me? Oh, let's have a look. This is for Morgana, and Morgana only. Let me pass. Oh, no, sir, I, I can't do that. 
Will you not let me enter? Thirsty work standing here all day. Dry throat and all. Um... Perhaps, Porter, if I could get you a little something for your trouble. Oh, well, sir, uh, that might be nice. Uh, perhaps, as the bard said, a small beer. Thank you. Good health. those barrels. Ah, the blacksmith's ale. I wonder what looks delicious. This should please the porter. Lovely, sir. Lovely. Just what I need. I've only known you 20 minutes and you're the best mate I've ever had. Away. So Merlin has entrusted you with the indictment. You look troubled, my lord. What ails you? Do not concern yourself with the problems of a king, Gawain. Arthur, my lord, this is the indictment I collected from Merlin. What? There is a hard road ahead, riddled with pitfalls and treachery. Where may I find Morgana, so that I may touch her with this? Gawain, I value my knights too much to risk them on such a mission. And you, so young, give it to me. Sir, Merlin told me to give this to no one but Morgana. Gawain, there are strange forces at work. Trust your king. I will see that it is delivered safely. I bid you farewell, my lord. Make haste! So, knight, you saw through my little trick. My Lady Morgana, I have a message from Arthur. Won't you please take it? From my brother? Hmm. 
not from lovesick Lancelot du Lac. Perhaps he has cast his pearls in another direction. Please open this letter, Morgana. Here, it is of the utmost importance. Not so urgent that it could not be spoken to me, surely. My lady, the seal. I think it is Merlin's. Perhaps it contains a gift from him. Why, thank you, pretty boy. I will take it. Morgana, you are charged with the crimes of plotting and conspiring against your king. How do you plead? My lord, I am innocent of all charges. I demand to know who spreads these malicious rumors against me. I am a queen, your sister. It is my right. This is not a debating society. For once you will answer for your crimes. My lord, you are a great and wise ruler. The whole country knows this to be true. My presence here in Camelot can be of benefit to you. I have made errors in the past and I ask your forgiveness of them. Silence, Morgana! These are serious charges. For the crime of treason, you shall be banished from Camelot. And, my dear brother, since when has adultery ceased being a crime? What? What are you saying? My lord, the issue at hand is Morgana's guilt or innocence. She seeks only to deflect the charges against her and sow suspicion and discord. And how are you, you old goat? Still performing tricks for children? Ah, the valiant new knight. Morgana, I warn you for the last time. Hold your tongue! I am a queen! You will address me as one! Silence! You are henceforth banished from this kingdom! Go! Firstly, there was the Age of Gold. Then of Silver and Bronze. Then the age of heroes, then of iron. Now we enter the age of famine, plague and pestilence. Look for me in your dreams. I will kill you all. Guards, take her into custody. Messenger to court. Speak your name, girl. My name is Helly. I bear a gift from Morgana. Beautiful workmanship. Try it on for me, Helly. The colours will suit your fair skin better than mine. But, sir, I cannot. I am a simple servant girl. I am not worthy of something so regal. It is a gift to you. Do as the king commands and be quick about it. Time you 
have gone too far. You will suffer. Merlin, I am sorry to summon you at such a late hour, but this can wait no longer. We have to decide about my half-sister. She has pushed me too far. My people are beginning to lose faith in me. I already feel a shift in their loyalties. It is not enough simply to have Morgana banished. She must be removed, executed. I must have belief in me restored. There is a new dawn here at Camelot. With faith in our creator, we will win through. I know Morgana well enough. She is wily, but her thirst for power and domination is beginning to get the better of her. We must send a knight of the round table to Lioness, a young blood, in no sense against her experience. This will confuse and flatter her, for she is a vain one. But I will not send him unaided. I will forge for him a magical ring. Whilst wearing this ring, he will be protected from attack. His life will be safe. I must away to my attic. There is much to be done. Ah, Gawain, a fully-fledged knight, and still no armor. <laughs> there is an unknown territory ahead, and you will need protection. I will fashion for you an invisible shield, a magical arm that will protect you from harm. But first, I will need its parts. To begin, we will need water from Guinevere's well. It contains spiritual properties. And beware, these quests are not easy going. You will need to bring together all your skills as a knight of the round table. Remember, without this ring, you are as naked as a baby. Now go! Afternoon, sir. Will fear. How much do you know of the world outside these walls, Wilf? Not much, sir. I got all I need here. You know of recent events, Wilf? I've heard talk, sir. That poor maiden was such a pretty thing. Such wickedness. What do you know of Guinevere's well? Well, I know some gossip, sir, but I don't like to say. Could you tell me how to get to Guinevere's well? Sorry, sir. If Wilf could help, he would. But I likes to keep me head down. I must go, Wilf. Of course, sir.
afternoon, sir. Helmet fit okay, did it? What do you know of Guinevere's well? Fine building. Bit fancy for me, but my lady liked it. Is it easy to get to Guinevere's well? Oh, yes. Not far outside the castle walls, there's a path through the forest. Have you ever visited Guinevere's well, Smith? Only to the outside. I went with Merlin to seal the door. Do you think that Guinevere's well is cursed? Look, sir, I'm not a man that scurs easily, but whilst I was sealing the door, I felt like I wasn't alone. I must bid you good day, Smith. Take great care, sir. Hello, sir. Lovely beer. Here's your tankard back. Well, the best of luck, sir. A gold container. This must be dragon's blood.
will not budge. No, wait, it's moving. There seems to be daylight entering here. It is daylight. The water here has a strange ethereal glow to it. It looks so pure. I wonder what its properties are. There are some... St the water here has... The water glows even in the tankard. waters from Guinevere's well. So the dragon blood worked, Gawain, as I promised. You have the water from Guinevere's well. Tomorrow, when you are rested, I will give you your next task.
Gawain. Are you rested after yesterday's quest? I now need the second item for the Ring of Protection. You must find me a piece of eggshell. Not a chicken's egg, but the eggshell of that most feared of beasts, the dragon. But be mindful, Gawain. Just bring me the shell. I will not have any of these fine beasts slain. Hello, sir. And how are you today? The horses are quiet. Aye, sir. Cause she ain't here, that's why. I'm looking for a dragon, Wilf. A dragon? You mean the dragon, sir. Where will I find the dragon, Wilf? Well, sir, I've heard it lives on the hill. You are a good lad, Wilf. Yes, sir. Since my parents died, life's been hard, so it has. Don't work too hard. No, sir. And you watch them dragons. There's something hidden in dust and dirt. It's a horn of some kind. It's been hollowed out.
Perhaps I can summon the dragon with this. These bones look well chewed. No, just picked clean by the night creatures. A rock. It's heavy enough. This looks like a dragon's egg. It's cold. I'll take it with me. A stick. Sticks have their uses. This sand is hot. Almost too hot to walk on. Aha! The heat from the sand has cracked the eggshell. I think this is what Merlin wants.
Good. Good. Now I have another ingredient for the Ring of Protection. There is one more element left, Gawain. And this could be the third element, Gawain. The final ingredient for the Ring of Protection. Now I need a nugget of fairy gold. Find the fairies and ask them for it. But remember, it must be given willingly, or its magic properties will be lost. So be courteous. And how is my El Dorado today? <laughs> uh, may I ask you, Merlin, how to acquire the fairy gold? You are learning, Gawain, albeit slowly. Tell me about the fairies, sir. Slippery, troublesome creatures. One minute sullen and insolent, the next playful and mischievous. Ah, they have existed since the dawn of time, and see the earth and its mortals as their own private playthings. They must be handled with caution. I understand time is running out. Fairy ring. I have heard much talk of these. It is made up entirely of toadstools. That toadstool looks different from the rest. Hmm. It's an interesting shape. Fairy ring. I have heard much talk of these. A fairy ring. Thank you a thousandfold. It'll be the last you get from us.
Well done, Gawain. You have the nugget of fairy gold. So the fairies didn't get the better of you with their constant grumbling. Now I can forge you your ring of protection. Here are some horses, sir, for you and Miss Helly. They're the best I have. And here's a loaf of bread, sir. You'll need a bit of bread for your journey. A, a bit stale, sir. A bit crunchy, even. But you get it down, you sir, and think of old Wilf when you do. Bread. You are kind, Wilf. It's a pleasure, sir. Travelers have rested here before. A good place to make camp. You must be tired. Not so tired. We have a long journey ahead of us. Yes. Leerness is many miles from here. Tell me about Lioness. Leerness is impregnable. It is defended by magic, by creatures created by Morgana. Our task will be difficult. You knew Morgana well? Unwillingly. I was forced to do her bidding. I was little more than a slave. Morgana! Because of her, I am disfigured. These scars will remain with me forever. A reminder of her evil. If Merlin hadn't saved me... Scars heal. That is kind of you to say so, Gawain. I'll build a fire. Yes, the evening is chill. Gawain, leave me here and continue alone. I must rest. There seems to be no end to this forest. We haven't seen a living soul for days. Go onward and try to find help. The light is fading. It is almost daygate. You will not progress far with me. I can only hinder you. Go with courage. I'll get help.
Who are you? Please, I need help. I have a badly injured woman with me. Let me in. How do I know you're telling the truth? Be gone with you! Woman, I need medicine for an injured partner. Help us. I never invite strangers in, and you look strange. I am a knight. I have an injured friend who will die if she does not receive help. Where is your armor then, knight? Woman, I am from Camelot and I need your help. Hmm, wait. You said you were from Camelot. I will give you anything you desire if you will only help my friend to live. Do you know, old Merlin? I taught him all he knows about medicines and healing. In fact, he still has my grinding bowl, pure canal granite. I'm lost without it. If you can get it back for me, I can help your friend. Farewell, old woman. Be quick and cough loudly on your return so I know who you are. Oh, and I thought I might never see you again. My lady, Helly lies injured. I have found a witch who can heal her, but I need to prove who I am. But you are a knight of Camelot and a fine one at that. My lady, did you ever possess a bowl for grinding spices or herbs here? Why, yes. I borrowed it from Merlin when I first married Arthur. I used it to make perfume oil. I still use it. Please, can I have the bowl? It may save Helly's life. Of course. Take it with you if you need it. My lady, I must go. Oh, well. 
so soon. My grinding bow, he kept it safe all these years. Now we have the grinding bow, we can begin. The wound is deep. Perhaps I can save her. Now I need poppy seeds for the poultice. Hurry, knight, there is not a moment to lose. Good. Now we have the poppy seeds. Dangerous in the wrong hands, but safe in mine. Now I can begin to make the poultice. So, we have poppy seeds and a bowl to grind them in. Now we need one of nature's greatest. Feelers, honey, a good fresh comb. Your king's old place has plenty.
Hail! Is anyone there? Stranger, can I be of any assistance? Is this Tintagel, monk? I am a knight from the court of Camelot. It is indeed, though sadly in need of repair. Arthur's men are always welcome. I need your help, monk. Our doors are always open to those in need. My friend lies injured at the Hermitage, a day's ride hence. Ah, the home of old Demdike. Is she well? Winter approaches. Monk, do you keep an apiarium? I must have honey for my sick friend. We do, but we have more to eat than honey. Where can I find honey? I must take a comb for my friend. She's dying. Brother Antony is our beekeeper. Please help yourself to plenty. But take care. They are very protective of their home. This straw looks fresh. It's bone dry. I can use this. A pair of bellows. Handy for starting fire. I'll take them. A bit of old rope. Looks like hawser rope. Well, rope always has its uses. Looks like old pottery. It's cracked, but it could be useful.
We have plenty of these jars, Gawain, and this one is cracked. But there is something inside. It looks like ambergris. The Lord be praised, this is pure ambergris, the ancient basis for scent making. There is enough here to make perfume with for years to come. You have given us great riches. In return, as a small gesture, here is a flagon of our prized mead. Thank you, knight. A flagon of Tintagel mead. It's heavy. There must be a quart here. The well is obviously still in use. That's the straw nicely wetted. Welcome. You have an interest in bees. Good day to you, monk. Your fellow brother told me to speak with you. I need honey. Our skeps are presently full, sir. Take as much as you need. Brother Anthony, how do I get to the honey? The bees seem somewhat angry. You must smoke bees. Then they become sleepy. Smoke? I am a knight of Camelot. I do not smoke. <laughs> oh no, the bees, knight. Blow smoke on the bees. Thank you. And Farewell, knight. Give our blessing to your king and queen. The bees are certainly busy. A whole honeycomb. It looks good.
whole comb. A gift from our wind. Aha! A nice bit of tintagel honey. This will be the final ingredient in our poultice. The young one will soon start to feel well. This and a few days rest will see to that. Ho! Oh, is anyone here? Make yourself known. It is Gawain of Camelot. I have brought Helly, my injured partner, with me. She is much recovered. Proof, sir? We can accept no more strangers within these walls. You remember me, Brother Antony. I am Gawain, a knight from Camelot. Brother Antony is dead. Slain. Something has happened here. I sense fear. What is wrong, monk? Just leave. Do not enter. It is dangerous here. Monk, here is Helly. Your kindness and generosity helped save her life. What has happened here? You may think that we are divorced from the ways of the modern world here. But a knight with no armor? I am a knight from the court of King Arthur. I have to get to Lioness. My orders are to execute Morgana. Morgana. Ah. She was here. She killed Brother Antony. Murdered. A defenseless monk. Enter, knight. We will not stand in your way. So, knight, you are on your way to execute me. Merlin's little helper. Not man enough to do the job himself. Look at you. Naked. Not so much as a breastplate to protect yourself with. Know this. I am omnipresent. You cannot see me. You cannot touch me. Did you think for one moment that you and your pathetic henchmen could ever outwit me? Fool! Merlin's ignorance and your stupidity has cost you and the girl dearly! Hello, hello. This one looks gullible. What did you say? Oh, 
nothing. I have to get across to Lioness. Will you row me there? Now why would I want to do that, Maggie? Boatman, lend me your boat. I need to get to Lioness while the sea is still calm. Lend? Lend me your boat? Oh, Roy, you just bring it back to me when you've finished with it. Do you earn your living as a ferryman, sir? Oh, uh, uh, yes, of course. Honest Jake, they call me. I have no money, Boatman. How do I get to Lioness? Oh, to God, you're a good swimmer, sir. Then jump in. I suspect that you are a smuggler. I could soon stop your trade. Tell me what you want in return for a passage to Lioness. All right, all right. I want mead, lots of it. Them monks only make it for export. Now, a nice flagon of mead might just twist me arm. Thank you. And I will say no more of this. Make sure you don't. Here is your mead, boatman. Drink your fill. But first, get me across to the island. You took your time. Let's hope this nectar is worth waiting for. I'm parched! That's as far as I go, sir. And you're lonesome now. I'll be hard. Wait! Listen! I expected to be taken back to Tintagel in return for such a large flagon of mead. You have tricked me. Look, matey. As far as I'm concerned, you've been paid in full for your ruddy mead. I won't stay here a moment longer. You must think I'm mad. And around here? Since I was a boy, I have always been a beachcomber. That's a fine show. It's a scallop show. I'll take it. Monstrous beast! the part they call the rattle. How light it is for a large snake.
A fine toadstool. It has a spongy texture. Another fairy ring. Fairies, I have to find the castle at Lioness. Can you help me? The castle? But the castle is so easy to find. Just look for it. <laughs> Please show me the way to Morgana's castle. I'm in a hurry. Oh, so demanding, so demanding for a mortal with nothing to offer us. I am a knight from Camelot, and I demand you show me respect. Respect? First you show us what we desire to see. I have slain the serpent at the beach. The troublesome serpent. Prove to us it is dead. Bring us a bit of it. Hmm. Most impressive, mortal. But nowhere near enough. And we smell gold. Fairy gold! Hand it over! Now! I have already given your fairy gold back to you. Oh no, Mr. Snotty Knight! You gave the gold to the Ragnar tribe. And no doubt the greedy swines will be hanging on to it. We want the fairy gold that you carry! Tell me what you want. I would give anything to know how to get to the castle. We want your invisibleness. Your glass armor. It is all I have. My ring of protection. Merlin gave it to me. Made of our gold. Fairy gold. Give it to us. And... How do I trust you to show... You are in possession of stolen property. Fairy gold is only lent. Never given. Return the ring to us, and we will show you the path to the castle. Without our help, you could get very lost. There is the path, mortal. Follow the silver path, and it will lead you to darkness. <laughs> This has an interesting texture. It is vitrified. It's very hard.
These dreadful posts lead all the way into her castle. They look... The ropes seem to be all that is holding this bridge up. I think this rope is strong enough. It doesn't look frayed. This one looks a little worn. I could dig the rotten post out with this dragon horn. Perfect. Now this wretched bridge should hold my weight. Find a way in. <sighs> Hard work. That piece of rock did the trick. This chain is rusty, but it might come in useful. Get out of my way! I am here for Morgana! I will find her! You are defenseless. Perhaps I should just let you run away. No. A little pampers, perhaps. Under... God of Lioness and Morgana's protector. Who are you? What do you want here? I am a traveler who became lost on a mountain road. Where am I? You will learn not to waste my time. We know why you are here. Very well. Merlin seeks a secret alliance with Morgana. Morgana has promised me your blood, mortal. 
I think I will kill you slowly. Before the blood is drained from your body, I will pluck out your heart and devour it before your eyes. Then, when I have consumed your flesh, I will throw your bones to the dogs for them to gnaw on. I am a messenger from Camelot. I must speak to Morgana. I have a message from Arthur. Once before, a human became lost in Lioness. Quite frankly, he tasted a little rancid, a little too chewy. Do you wish to change your story? Set me free and give me back my sword, so that we may have a more fitting discussion. <laughs> of course, my Queen Morgana may wish for a little prior amusement. We have many tools of persuasion here at Lioness. How are you feeling, mortal? A little nervous? What does fear feel like, mortal? You sweat freely for an innocent pilgrim lost upon the road. Vampire! Ghoul! It will give me great pleasure to kill you. Should I release you? Perhaps I believe you. Perhaps not. But if I released you, could you be trusted? Should I allow you to roam freely around Lioness? What do you think? If you were in my position, what would you do? Trust me. Release me and I shall leave Lioness. Humans are so unfriendly, so uncivilized. Did your mother settle a pig with no manners? Was she a pig herself, feeding on rotting garbage? Was your mother a pig, mortal, a beast? Perhaps I'd met You'll die for that vampire! I'll tear the teeth from your gums. I'll strip the flesh from your bones. Save your lives for Morgana. We meet again. Not quite so successful at evading me without that old fool murder. Your name is? <laughs> oh, it slipped my mind. Are you a messenger? Or an assassin? Well, have you been struck dumb? What have you got to say for yourself? Morgana, I have a message from the King. Have you ever wondered, Knight, why you were sent here to face me? You mean nothing to them. You are just a scrap of life waiting to be stepped on and snuffed out. I am a knight of the greatest court in Albion. I have sworn allegiance to my king and queen, and I am sworn to fight to the death any living thing which threatens their safety. Tell me what you think of me, knight. Am I not more beautiful than that one foolish creature who makes a fool of my half-brother, Arthur? Yes, you are very beautiful, Morgana. Poor oh, fool. You understand nothing. Merlin has been filling your head with false ideas about morality. There is no morality. There is no good or evil. These are purely the ideals of Arthur's new religion. I will not say. I will serve neither Arthur nor a false divinity, as you can see. <laughs> I am poor Helly, such a simple creature. Helly was loyal to you, until you betrayed her. Death comes to you. <laughs> if I stamp on a cockroach, does that make me evil? If I snuff out an obstacle, does that make me wicked? 
Arthur has slaughtered whole armies in the furtherance of his ambitions. Does that make Arthur wicked and evil? <laughs> but tell me, how does it feel to be a cop about to be stamped off? You may kill me, but others will come to find me. Enough of this! You are an assassin sent by Merlin. Now you will die. I'll see you in hell. Goodbye, night. An old key. This must match a door down here somewhere. This lamp drips tallow everywhere. This tallow should lubricate the key. It's a large lock. Good. The key turns beautifully. This must be the work of Morgan. Captain, Captain, Captain! What now, Mortar? My sword! I can't lift it! The question is, have you grown weak? Or has the sword grown heavy? <laughs> ah, another task. Is a formidable foe, is he not? <laughs> Without your sword, he will strike you up and suck the marrow from your bones. <laughs> what a pity you no longer have the ring of protection. I'm here to kill Morgana. Do your own donkey work. Ah, now, mortal, don't be like that. Morgana is a powerful sorceress. We must. Be wary. <laughs> and you do need your sword. Very well. What must I do? You must find us an item, mortal. It is hidden somewhere in my own head. Morgana, so. A simple enough Now listen carefully, mortal. It is the size of a man's hand, and it is contained in a vessel which may resemble an urn used for the ashes of cremated humans. <laughs> While her soul is not in her body, she cannot be. To destroy Morgana, we must find a means of capturing her soul. Hurry, mortal, hurry, time is short. I will return with what you require.
More petrified trees, set in stone for eternity, a violation of nature. More petrified trees. Looks like the branch of a tree. Wait, it's made of stone. It must have been petrified. Oriental. Something stirs within its depths. It is dark, odd. human hair. It's black and silky. It must be Morgana's. A human hair.
A hairbrush. There are hairs in it. Ragnar, I thought you would be chewing on a corpse or two. No, mortal. I am waiting to chew on you. What do you guard, Ragnar, with such vigilance? Do you wish to find out, mortal? Take one step nearer, and I will tell you. Do vampires ever sleep? Sleep, mortal? What would that be? When I return, Ragnar, I will have your head. I'll be here, waiting for you, mortal. Where is Morgana? I wish to speak to her. Morgana? Why do you wish to know, mortal? You won't be laughing, Ragnar, when I slit your throat. I am a vampire. You cannot harm me. From Arabia. Quite unusual. Ah, it contains nail clippings.
what we have here. Something thick, something fragrant. A moment to an vampire. Nail clipping, just like it takes a Morgana. How romantic. You have done well, too. We can devise a means of Morgana's destruction. What was that? Morgana has found Raptor's body. She will know that you murdered him. We must act quickly. We have saved the objective in the end. Morgana's soul is now trapped. Now we have the power. Morgana will not hurt us again. We shall not kill her. She is our queen. But she knows that we can. Oh, no, this is in danger. The iron itself is humming with its fury. She must know this, too. We shall protect you from Morgana's wrath, Manly. But you must do one more thing. You have to lock it from Ragnar's lifeless body. But he died centuries ago. He will heal as he has done before, and he has no fear of us. He will take the air from us and free Morgana. You must stop him once and for all. Find that which will release his soul and use it on him before he can undo our work. You must be quick. Go now. adorned with a large containing a clear liquid. The bottle is inscribed, Holy Water.
Arthur himself will tell you how precarious the balance of power can be. Keep away from the shadows and always fear the coming of night, Gawain, because one day I shall come and seek you. Sorry. Look at you, sir. Smith, you're a fine craftsman. Take care, sir. <laughs>